Bertelsen with Queens. Raises the button. Queen nine suited for Mustafa Kanet. And his timing may be a little bit off here. He attempts to three bet from the small. Hmm. Hats off for creativity, but yeah, timing sucks. Jane Windsor. Is Valentine's Day your anniversary, Matt? No, that's a different date, which I will check my diary and get back to you. But it, I'm pretty sure that's in June. Alex guessed the same thing. Alex also said, can we take a camera around to look at the room? Yeah, just come down. Come along, bring your camera with you. Uh, yeah, just, I mean, as long as you don't bump into anyone, yeah, go where you want. Is this always a spot? where well, you should fall back queens is it ever an argument for flatting and playing in position i do you know i've got nothing but bad stories to tell about a time i tried to flat i I, th I think you've always got to just try and get as much value in here haven't you there is the fourth bet from Bertelson. because also i think it, it for your mental state of mind is that if you get called here i mean we know what can it is but if you got called here and things go south and the flops got aces and kings and stuff you hate you can at least feel like, do you know what, I feel I can say I did everything right and I just got unlucky. If you start limping in, uh, sorry, not limping, but you know, if you kind of slowly come into these sort of hands, then I always feel a bit like, well, this is kind of partly my fault. I can't say I did everything to make sure that the hand went my way. It so depends what your definition of my way is, but. Bertelsen's made it just shy of 1.2 million. And Canet does not appear to be done with this. That looks like a call. So Mustafa Kanet calls a four bet out of position with queen nine of diamonds. I assume he has a plan. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I mean. The plan is to rep the ace and get Bertelton off queens. It's there for the taking. I mean, it seems like excuse me, an arrogant move to suggest, well, I'm just going to call this clear push of strength and then just hope a big card comes down and rep it. But if he did it now, how much would you hate life if you're Belson? So it's, it's there for the taking if you have the cojones. 2.5 million in the middle. Bertelson with 3 million behind. Is this a must-bet spot? Can you imagine if Canet now pulled the trigger and check raise bluffed? Uh, I mean, here's the boss quietly sitting in a T-shirt that it looks like my niece has like done some DIY craft work on. Yeah, I mentioned at the start that last time oh, we saw Mustafa at a final table, it was bow ties and jackets. Exactly, exactly. And now it's like someone's cut out some stars in some yellow crepe paper and, and got on there. Each to their own. It's not a shirt I would bring to the to the party, but instead, can it just flats the seven hundred thousand floating out of position? I would love to hear the inner thoughts right now. Of Anton, because if he's going okay, so he he raised, he re-raised me, and now he's caught, now he's flatted. I mean, how on earth do you vaguely so work out? Canet is now officially drawing dead. He checks it to Bertelson, who has less than pot behind. 
I, uh, the thing is, he's drawing dead, but for some reason he feels like the player most likely to win this encounter, depending on how how hard he plays this now. A I'm not check. surprised to see Bertelsen yeah. check behind. Uh, a jack on the river changes nothing. I mean, the board gets a little bit straight here, I guess. But the thing is, you've come so far. How can you... you this, this has to be when the hammer drops. There's no way <laughs> Mustafa comes this far to hope that Queen High is going to be good here. He's going to try and... You, you started down this path, my friend. You have to get to the end of it. I'm excited to see what oh, he wow. does here. This is uh, this gets through. Oh, Bertelson is hating life right now. Yeah, it's a perfect plan. It's I mean it's it's not anything that any normal players are going to get to quite soon, but these guys are beyond us. 1.75 million, which is most of Bertelson's stack. Oh God! Do you know what? The funny thing is, I got a little like a little pulse in my neck. Like this is kind of I'm, I'm feeling this one myself a bit. It's like you know it's coming on the river. You you know that this must be the plan because there is no other plan. There's no showdown here. There's no drawing the diamonds. It's oh. and every hand we've seen can it play the big pots? He's it, had it. He's this had is it. the first big bluff he's pulled off. He's told them a couple of times. I had the eights. He's shown them. Is they they've caught up with the stream on a couple of occasions and found it had the big hand. So maybe that's exactly the reasoning behind this move is that he has such a solid rep for having it, and he's just going to capitalise on that. I mean, if Bertelsen folds here, I don't want to be around in 45 minutes because there's going to be some vomiting on the streets of Dublin. Again. If he folds this, Canet is going to take an overwhelming chip lead. Bertelsen will be left with around 20 big blinds. Armin says the beautiful part is I think Mustafa will show his hand if the other dude folds. He is a boss. Heartless. Heartless boss. But would you show he's got such a solid rep here as I'm wondering if this is the occasion to not be so honest, not be so vocal. Scott Campbell saying this hand is the main reason we should have cards up coverage. It is a treat to come in to this, to, to pick up the high roller on our first air broadcast with cards up to see this kind of action. Bertelsen looking back at his hand and he folds it! <laughs> oh my lord. Doesn't show. I think that's that's perfect. What a fantastic hand. Can I pick that one? Wow. Green done. <laughs> Oh, Bertelsen just got pushed off a monster. Like Masterclass. Canet is up to yeah, 95 big blinds. Be good, no? 